LM scientists and support staff traveled to Amchitka Island, Alaska, near the end of the Aleutian Archipelago in June 2023. After arriving by commercial flight in Adak, Alaska, the team boarded a vessel named the Poseidon and traveled through the Bering Sea to reach the remote island. The boat served as their operational base and home for the project's 18-day duration. Why did these scientists travel nearly 4,000 miles to an island so remote that it's closer to Russia than mainland USA? The team was fulfilling LM's mission to protect human health and the environment through long-term surveillance and maintenance. From 1965 through 1971, the U.S. government conducted three underground nuclear tests on Amchitka Island. Although radiological contamination from the detonations was largely contained underground, drilling mud that contained diesel fuel and other additives contaminated isolated areas of the island's surface. In 2001, DOE cleaned up surface contamination and constructed covers to contain diesel fuel contamination that remains in the former drilling mud pits. LM took responsibility for long-term surveillance and management of the site in 2008 and now refers to it as the Amchitka, Alaska site. The LM site includes the mud pits and ground zero site markers. LM is also responsible for regular sampling of marine water, freshwater, flora, and fauna, and inspecting the former mud pits and conducting maintenance to ensure the site conditions remain protective. The LM team navigated winter-like weather with temperatures in the 40s and rain, fog, and wind. They wore protective gear to shield themselves from the elements. Ocean waves made standing, walking, and working on the boat challenging, but the team relied on their training to safely deal with these conditions. Each team member stayed focused on their work, regularly discussing safety and health, each day's plan, and their roles and responsibilities. Environmental sampling for the 2023 trip included two focuses, verifying marine foods were safe to eat and determining if any contaminant migration was occurring from material remaining deep under the island after the underground nuclear tests. The team collected marine water, freshwater, precipitation, and rockweed samples from the Poseidon and Amchitka Island. They also collected a variety of marine fish for sampling, including rockfish, Irish lord, Pacific cod, Atka mackerel, and Dolly Varden. The LM team inspected covers on the seven disposal areas containing drilling mud for settling, cracks, and other maintenance needs. They also examined repairs completed in 2022 to see if they were functioning as designed. They collected vegetation data and observed and documented plants at the mud pits. Once they completed their on-site work, LM and its support staff sailed back to ADAC, then flew home from their successful journey. The samples have been submitted for laboratory analysis, which may take a year or more to complete. LM will share findings publicly once laboratory and data analysis is finalized and will continue to work with the state of Alaska and tribal groups in its work at the Amchitka site. LM is committed to conducting long-term surveillance and monitoring at the Amchitka Alaska site to ensure conditions continue to keep the environment and human health protected.